In our next reading unit, we are going to be talking about fables. Now, what do you know about fables already, and what are some fables that you've heard of? Do you know the famous author of most of the fables we read today? Think about those questions. Well, Aesop was the most famous author of fables. He was an ancient Greek storyteller who came up with many short, amusing stories that he told to many people. Now, a fable is a short, fictional story with a moral at the end. There are several characteristics that all fables share. So listen as I read a fable and try to determine the characteristics of fables. The Ants and the Grasshopper <clears throat> One bright day, in late autumn, a family of ants were bustling about in the warm sunshine, drying out the grain they had stored up during the summer, when a starving grasshopper, his fiddle under his arm, came up and humbly begged for a bite to eat. What? cried the ants in surprise. Haven't you stored anything away for the winter? What in the world were you doing all last summer? I didn't have time to store up any food, whined the grasshopper. I was so busy making music that before I knew it, the summer was gone. The ants shrugged their shoulders in disgust. Making music, were you? they cried. Very well, now dance! And they turned their backs on the grasshopper and went on with their work. The moral of the story is, there's a time for work, and a time for play. So if we think about that fable, we can notice some special things about it. And the first characteristic of fables is that fables are short. Fables were short because they were handed down orally, which means they did not write down the stories but told them to each other out loud. It would be really hard to tell a really long story over and over and have it be the same, so they made them short so they could remember the stories. So on your fables elements organizer, go ahead and add that fables are short. A second characteristic is that a fable only has a few characters. A fable usually only has two or three main characters. Usually one character is the good guy and one character is the trickster or the bad guy or the foolish one who learns a lesson. There's not always a bad guy. And there's not always a good guy. Sometimes there's only one character. It just depends on the fable. So go ahead and add, there are only a few characters. The third characteristic of fables is that they use something called personification. Personification means that Characters in the story act like humans, even though they're usually animals or some sort of inanimate object that doesn't actually talk like a human. Go ahead and add, characters have personification to your graphic organizer. In a fable, characters often encounter a problem. In a fable, the main characters usually have a problem that they have to solve. This problem is usually caused by the bad character who's trying to mess with the good character. Go ahead and add, fables have a problem to your graphic organizer. Finally, a fable teaches a lesson called a moral. Now, a moral is a short rule at the end of a story that teaches correct behavior. So, go ahead and add fables have a moral to your graphic organizer. <clears throat> 